To load filament through the smart cabinet, press the opening latch and open the drawer completely. To open the dehumidifying chamber, turn the locking knobs 180 degrees. 90 degrees unlocks the airtight lid and the next 90 opens the dehumidifying chamber. Lift the airtight cover carefully and rest it on the rear stop. Open the spool and cut the filament tip at a 45 degree angle. Place the filament spool inside the BCN3D spool cartridge and slide the tip in until it protrudes. Place the spool cartridge inside the chamber, orienting the magnet towards the loading point. On the screen, select the extruder and the material to be loaded. Insert the filament through the loading point. As soon as the sensor detects the filament, the extruder motor will be activated. Keep pushing until you notice that the extruder starts to drag it. And the rest of the loading process will be automatic. If the extruder cannot load the filament, cut the tip of the filament at the opposite angle and repeat the process. Repeat the same process to load the other extruder. To load 2.3 kg filament spools, you can install the spool holders in the center column. The smart cabinet accepts spools of different sizes. There are multiple combinations that allow you to place your spools in different ways according to their size. You can check the link in the description to see if your spools are compatible and the different ways of placing them. To finish the loading process, close the airtight lid and turn the locking knobs to seal the compartment. Close the drawer and your Epsilon is ready to print. To ensure best performance, we advise you to only store the filament spools that you'll use soon in the dehumidifying chamber of your smart cabinet. Every time you open the cover of the dehumidification chamber, you'll be renewing the air inside, increasing the humidity levels. For this reason, it's important to open only when it's necessary and to make sure that it's closed properly. If you need more storage space, you can find an additional storage area at the bottom.